Hello, I'm joined by Martin Tyler Hello. after today's 1-0 win at East Stoke United. Uh, Martin, pretty cold right now, but that three points must warm you up a little. Yeah, it's come at the end of a run of five away games in 15 days, and we've won the last two league games in there, which is um, you know, very pleasing given the circumstances that, that Dows isn't with us, and we're trying to um, fill in adequately for his absence. Sure. <laughs> it's cooked grub in there if you want it. Thank you very much. Yeah, we'll be down in, in a minute. The, down in the hall, yeah? yeah? I'll be in there in no time at all. Okay. Thanks. Your players, Mo? Yes, they, they do. know. They know, yeah. We can edit this. Um, I thought Kays looked the stronger team today, but we did only win by, by one goal, and that had a slight sort of fortune to it, too. Yeah, I think the first half we were happy um, to get in at 0 0 because. Uh, the wind, we were playing into the wind and uh, we just away from home. Uh, bye, bye, Bertie. <laughs> but we were happy to get in at half time just to maybe draw their sting a little bit. I mean, you know, they're not doing very well in our league, but you've got to remember they got to the first round of the FA Cup, they're still in the FA Trophy, so they've had some real successes this season. So we thought with the wind in the second half we, we would win the game, but it was just a matter of getting a goal to do it. Yeah, it was a bit of a scruffy goal, but Sam's left foot's working well. For us at the moment. Uh, a few other chances that uh, nearly produced uh, goals. Um, we hit the woodwork and there's a bit of a penalty appeal at the end. Did you, what did you make of that? Well, the penalty appeal in the first half was the one that really um, upset the lads because it was a handball um, given against Sam Clayton in midfield and the referee was asked when he gave that free kick against Kingstoni and that um, if it was a penalty, would it have been a penalty? And he said, yes, yes, yes. So the same sort of incident did happen. It would have been, maybe should have been a penalty, but in the end we didn't need that. And uh, just pleased to get the points, just pleased to send a good message to Douse to get well soon as possible and, and to take the opportunity to say that the Mark Hams has taken the team and we've, um, we've held them together in the way that I hope the fans are happy with. You mentioned there uh, getting getting the points uh, this week and last week, but uh, with respect to the teams, it's uh, against lower opposition. Um, how good are, are the performances right now, as opposed to just just getting the points on the board? Well, it's a good question, but I think they're they're tight and they're strong and. As Ian Gales had a bit of publicity, hasn't he, in the local papers about the job that he's been doing, and, and that's really helped us just feel more confident about the team defensively. So you can only beat who's in front of you. We're pleased to win. Um, sometimes, actually, we've played a lot better against the, the better teams, but um, at the moment we're with a run of, of clubs that are lower down the table, and it's, it's up to us to come away with the points. Sure. Um, next week's game against another lower down the, t uh, the league team, Leatherhead, uh, Mark's halfway through the, the season and mm. um, what's the realistic goals at the moment for Case? Well I think we all feel that we could have done more over the first half of the season particularly in the cup competitions obviously we know your supporters and the owners of the club are, are disappointed in that respect and we first to hold up our hands and say that hasn't come as well as we would have wanted it to do so but I think in the, the only way is up in terms of the league we, we've pushed ourselves up into the top half of the table um, hopefully we can stay there and if we get a good run together then the playoffs which we really were one goal away from getting into last season which we got into the season before that's still got to be our target yeah. and um, finally you mentioned Dallas earlier but uh, is there any anything more that we can know I mean obviously everyone wishes him the best and he's not only a, a great asset for the club but he's a great guy as well but um, what is what is there anything that's developed and what is the contingency if uh, Mark Hams is, is not around or anything? Well, he will be around. You know, He's uh, stepped into the breach um, very, very capably. Um, the players enjoy playing for him. Uh, I think the, uh, the dressing room has been very much the same, but you know we know Dous is um, has been sick, and we we want him to get well. And as far as I can tell you, I've spoken to him a couple of times in the last ten days. He um, he's still in some pain, but we're hoping that that we know what the problem is. He knows what the problem is, which was the worry really, because it was a concern when he actually stepped down from the job to get a proper diagnosis. Um, it's certainly not a, a life-threatening concern, uh, but it is painful and he's got to have the cause of the pain dealt with. As soon as that's done, I think he'd be straight back. Okay, uh, we look forward to that time. Uh, thanks for your time today and good luck next Sunday. Sunday, yeah. Sunday. Thanks for the support as always.